it is time. We've learned a lot this episode, but it's time to get really educated <laughs> butts. because, uh. like, especially butts. It's that kind of class. Yeah. Teachers away. And um, this week, our match was Cesaro, oh. Antonio Cesaro, against Tyson Kidd in NXT. And this was October 31st, 2012. Wow, I did that off the top of my head. And this um, was for, I'm just going to point this out. Yes. This was for the U.S. title. Yes. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure I watched the right one. Oh, good. Yeah, watch one. I mean, <laughs> yes. And this was, a as we previewed last week, this was a fantastic episode because there was a debuting, by the way, NXT debut. He was in FCW. Roman Reigns. This was uh, an interview with Biggie Langston about the five count that was interrupted by Vicky Guerrero and uh, some she, other. She said, excuse me. She did say, excuse me. And some other great stuff on there. Also, this was like on, mere weeks before The Shield debuted uh, on, on pay-per-view with CM Punk. So he was actually saying. Roman Reigns and not Leaky? He, no, yeah. he was. This was his debut as Roman Reigns and his debut, I believe, on NXT. So, um, yeah. Yeah, taking on a. Wait, was it was he like, leaky or was it like like lakey or something like that? High or something like that. Yeah, Bradley. I liked uh, Roman's finisher. Mm. It was like a backdrop into a urinagi. Mm. That was a neat little huh. finisher he had there. Now he just punches people. Uh, but he, he he did a like a very light version of a Superman punch. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't quite up in the air, but it's just kind of he just dove towards a guy and, and punched him. Okay. Uh, but uh, but go on, go on. Uh, so the match at hand, like I said, it was Tyson Kidd, uh, Cesaro, of course, later became uh, tag team champions together. Some great mm -hmm. stuff because Cesaro just mm -hmm. kills it. Because Cesaro is tag team wrestling. <laughs> yes. First of all, if, if nobody's noticed this, Cesaro, is, Cesaro is wrestling. Tag team wrestling. Yes. He, yeah, yes, he is. But he just, but literally, like, I don't know if he's been paired with somebody that hasn't worked except for Paul Heyman. Well, he wrong. works well with everybody. You yeah. saw that in the match. He, uh, you know, he and. Tyson wrestled, wrestle, wrestled really well with each other. Mm -hmm. um, you, I, I could tell just a little bit that uh, Cesaro was just barely carrying things, just a little. Mm -hmm. uh, there was one point in which um, I guess Tyson was supposed to be doing a Irish whip into the ropes, but Cesaro grabbed Tyson's wrist first. Rather than Tyson grabbing his first, so it's like you're supposed to do this here to grab an arm. Okay, do that. Okay, and then I'll throw you in. So I mean, if, I mean, if there's any carrying he's doing, it's very light carrying. Mm -hmm. But he, mm -hmm. you know, got a, he gets great matches out of people, and he got a good match out of uh, Tyson there. Well, I didn't think Tyson's a tough guy. To, I don't think Tyson's a tough guy to get a good match out. No. Of. So I mean, no. that's a heart dungeon guy. Like he, mm -hmm. he knows what he's doing. You know, I I think if isn't any, he one of the last heart <coughs> dungeon people? Oh yeah, I, I I think that was his moniker for a while, the last of the heart dungeon. Uh huh. Um. So yeah, no, absolutely. So like I I I can't imagine him not knowing what he's doing. Um, going into that. So, but and, and it it was like a nice kind of preview of things to come. And remember, this was very early Cesaro in WWE. Mm -hmm. He's still wearing. He still had a first name. He still had a first name. He's still working the jacket. He still has the the um the leg warmers, I guess, uh, on his upper what, thighs. What are those? I don't know. It's a those are like it's th a rugby those are, thing. Those are like um pre wrap with one strap of tape around the pre wrap. Okay. I don't know what it does. It looks. I mean, it looks <laughs> cool. Circulation. Uh, pre wrap is ta is like sticky tape, so okay. you don't like rip off. Mm -hmm. skin or hair and crap like that okay uh but yeah okay that's what they that's but what no they it was um it, it it was good it was kind of short <laughs> i mean it wasn't i mean it was good tv match. it wasn't yes yeah. yeah. jr and commentary was great i, I forgot oh, that they yeah. did that for a lot of the main events to mm -hmm. kind of spruce up the nxt product at the time mm -hmm. um so it was um it it, it it was very good but also just a a snapshot of things to come between those two. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Um, so, to me, I remember, like, maybe a couple of years ago, we were doing that um, March Mayhem bracket right. thing. Right. And I believe it was Alex who put that in, put that as, put a certain match in uh, featuring Cesaro, Claudio, 
and another wrestler. And all I can think of while watching the Tyson Kidd match was watching that match and seeing a wrestler like Cesaro, who's big, who can actually move, who can actually like cut through anything and move around, as well as show his strength and power. And seeing another technical wrestler who can also move with the flow, move mm-hmm. with the big guys, move with everything around them. And those two like two, matches. Two guys that knew how to mat wrestle. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's like there were moves that I've never seen before in both matches. Mm-hmm. There, were move, there were reversals I've never seen in both matches. There were just different pinning combinations I've seen in both matches. And in both matches, it was technical wrestler versus technical wrestler. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was short, but in that, in that seven minute match, a lot of shit happened in that seven minutes. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. It it was not slow. It was not, it was not wrestle. I mean, obviously we, we know because, Tyson Kidd wasn't champion, United States champion, but we we didn't like. I was watching it, and I'm like, I had that moment of being a fan and watching that, going, mm-hmm. what? Tyson Kidd might win mm-hmm. like, 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 in that seven minutes, and it, it just was one of those times where it was good. It was mm-hmm. it was it was more than like you said it was good, Sorg. You said it was good. I'm it was better than good. Like it, it, sure, it was a sure. seven minute match. It was big guy versus small guy, new guy versus, you know, semi, like it was a new guy feeding off of a younger generation star. Yeah. I, and so and Riz is basically going to say, it's not just good. It's good. Plus one. <laughs> yes. Plus Thank you. Brad. Okay. Shut up. Thanks. Hey, thanks for that. Uh, anyways, um, by the way, I love that the people we just talked about having action figures were, were doing stuff behind you on your screen, uh, and now it's queued up some RWA. That's great. <laughs> I love this. Oh. Hey, look, Daniel Eats. He's an R guy hey. that had a WWE look. Um, anyways, Dave, uh, by the way, Ponder says he needs, oh, I need a, pl- a pre-wrap. Uh, <laughs> so. I think I might have, I might still have some somewhere in my oh, yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah. You're not pre-wrapping a lot. <laughs> 